Hello, thanks for stopping by on Nelicious TV. Thank you to all my old and new subscribers. I love you all. You guys are the best. Please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, hit that red button and subscribe. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this milky meat pie. I'm so excited about this meat pie. Like, I'm so happy. This is one of the meat pie I enjoy every blessed day. Yes. So, if you want to see how to make this milky meat pie, Keep watching and I'll show you the ingredient that you will need for this tantalizing milky meat pie. And that's the ingredient in here in front of you. In here I've got 1 kilo of plain flour and I have 250 gram of cooking margarine. And I have 1 cup of fresh milk. And I have half a teaspoon of baking powder. And I have half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And I have three Irish potato. 500 gram of minced beef. Cooking oil, granite oil. White onion. Two teaspoon of salt. No cube and seasoning powder thyme and rosemary three carrot with one egg and that's all the ingredient that i'll be using for this milky meat pie so i'm going to start by making the dough i'll add the plain flour into the mixer I didn't add all the plain flour because I'll use that as thickener. And I'll add the nutmeg. I'll add the baking powder. Stir it. I'll add the salt. And I'll be adding the cooking margarine. I'll dice it first, like I'll use a knife to slice it, yes, before adding the cooking margarine. You can see me slicing it. So that it will be easy for the mixer to work with. I'll cover it to mix. I'll let it mix till it gives crumbs. While that is going on, I'm going to dice the potato and the carrot. You can use your knife to dice it if you want to. So I'm dicing the potato into little cubes. Then I will dice the carrot. After then, I'm going to check the flour. You can see that. I'm adding milk little by little. You can use any milk of your choice, but I prefer fresh milk. Please don't add the whole milk once. You need to add it little by little. The quantity of the milk that you will add to this determines how big is the flour or the flour. You can see the dough is ready. So now I'm going to cut it so that it will be easy for me to work with and put it back. You can see that. After that, I'll put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. I'll cover it to rest in the fridge for 15 minutes. I'll cover it with the plastic. You can leave it longer in the fridge for like 20 to 30 minutes depending on the time you have. But for me, I'll, I'll be leaving it for 15 minutes. While that is in the fridge, I'm going to add 
cooking oil in a preheated frying pan. Then I'll add the onions, stir it, then I'll add the seasoning powder, I'll add the nut cube, I'll add the rosemary and thyme. Then I'm adding the minced beef. And stir it very well. Stir it till it gives me that dark brown look. You can see that. I'll add the salt and stir it very well. And after that, I'll be adding one and a half cup of water. And let it steam for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I'm adding the carrot and potato. I'm adding the carrot and potato. I'm going to let it cook till the carrot and potato is half done. Remember, I'm still going to cook it in the oven. So I'll stir it very well. Now the carrot and the potato is half done. You can see that. So I'm going to make the thickening by adding one spoon of flour in a cup. Mix it with a little bit of water and pour it in there. Now I'm adding the tikna. I will stir it together. Because we don't want a running um, filler, you can see that it's not too thick, it's not too runny. I'm going to let that set aside and cool down completely before adding it to the dough. So I'll let it cool down completely. I will sprinkle a little bit of plain flour on the kitchen cabinet before rolling out the dough so that it will be easy. I'm rolling out the dough, not too thick, not too thin. At this point, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. Be cool. And I'll place it on top of the pie cutter. I'll add one and a half spoon of the filler. I'll rub an egg at the edges of it. You can see that. And I'll clip it together. Remove the excess and place it in the oven baking tray. I'll go this I will do the same thing over and over again, but if you don't have a pie cutter, don't worry. You can use any soup plate or any little bowl of your choice. Depending on the size you want. I'll place that on top of the pie cutter again. I'll add the filler, one and a half spoon. Then I'll rub it with the egg, clip it together, and remove the excess. Place it again in the oven baking tray. I'll rub the floor again on the kitchen cabinet. I'll roll out the dough. You 
Can you see that? I'll add the filling. And I'll apply the egg at the edges. This egg is what will seal it so that the meat pie will not pop open in the oven. I'll remove the excess. That is the standard size of meat pie. Now I'm going to show you how to use a plate or a little bowl to do this. I'll roll out the dough again. I'll use that little soup plate and cut it out. I'll add the filling. Then I'll wrap the egg at the edges. Then I'm going to gently lift it and close it. I'll use the fork to press it. Just press the edges. Just make a dent with the fork at the edges. Can you see that? I'll put it in the oven tray. At this point, if you've not subscribed to my channel, Nebuko, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe, eh? I'll add the filling again. I'll rub the egg at the edges. And I'll close it. And use the knife you can use knife or fork can you see that just press it hard and I'll gently lift it and put in the oven tray but I prefer to use this pie cutter to make a standard size of meat pie I'll place that in the cutter And I'll add the filling, apply the egg, clip it together and remove the excess. I'll put it in the oven tray. I'll show you the sizes. There are different sizes of this pie cutter. For me, I prefer the last one I just showed you. But I'll show you how to use this hungry man size. This one is so big. This is a super pack meat pie size. I'll add the filling. And I'll rub the egg again. The egg will also make it to seal together so that the meat pie will not pop open when you put it in the oven. Then I'll clip it together. I'll remove the excess. Can you see that hungry man size? So big. I'll place it in the oven tray. Now I'm going to grease the meat pie with the egg. The reason why I'm applying the egg on top of it is because it will give it that brown look. So on this ones, I will not be putting much egg. But if you want it more brown, you can apply more eggs on it. I'll place it in the oven For 35 minutes 
I'm going to leave it in the oven for 35 minutes. So I'll leave it in now. It's over 35 minutes. It was in the oven for 35 minutes on the 200 C. Can you see that meat pie? Looking good. This one is more brownish because I applied more egg on it. And this one is a bit white because of less egg. Can you see that golden brown look? And that light brown look? This meat pie is so yummy, guys. Like, you need to try this milky meat pie. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Do you want? You can have it. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you for watching. Thank you to everybody that comment and like and share my video. I love you all. You guys are the best. And please do come back for more videos. Don't forget to request for any recipe of your choice. And feel free to share with your family and friends. I will see you in my next video. But before you go, subscribe. Bye.